Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out this, uh, I guess, a Star Fox clone called Red Out Space Assault. I'm going to play the Xbox version. We're going to be playing this on the Series X, but this is a Xbox One game, so it's backwards compatible. It's kind of interesting. Again, it's an on-rail shooter. I've only played the first few stages or so. We'll go ahead and begin again. So you can see you have a ship. It almost looks like an R-Wing, <laughs> but uh, you'll see very quickly that the game is similar I guess I mean I guess honestly the main thing that makes it similar to Star Fox is the fact that it's an on rail shooter um, kind of <laughs> uh, not bad though it attracted my attention so you move around the, the the ship does move pretty loose though I will say like look how loose it moves um, you also have a barrel roll that you can do left or right and then you have a missile you gain these coins so you can um, the coins are used so you could upgrade your ship. You could upgrade your weapons, your hull, your shield, um, and your missiles. And you basically just lock on to the enemy ships. It's, it's pretty simple, but it's kind, kind of cool. It's neat. You also have a brake, like Star Fox, where you could slow down. And then you even have a boost, which I'll show you the boost when that refills. So you also have a boost. So kind of similar with its with its presentation um of course it's it's no star fox but you know if nobody's making star fox games somebody has to right so um i decided to get the xbox version i believe this is actually on all the consoles don't quote me if i'm wrong um and uh, I, I i dig it i dig it for the most part so the right the right analog stick can control your boost, your break, and your barrel rolls, or you can use the shoulder buttons to uh, to actually barrel roll. So, and the stages for the most part are pretty pretty short. So you'll see, I'm done with stage one. Not half bad. Pretty pretty short. Uh, and I like that. I don't like stages that are too overly long. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. Oh, I still have a little bit to go. I thought that was the ending of stage one. But I think I just have one little more, one little sector left. And we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. Alright, here we go. All right. HQ, we have proof of unauthorized mining operations in progress. Copy that, Bravo One. Evac the area. Voice acting too, not half bad, right? Careful now. They can't <laughs> let us escape easily. You know, you got to give props to a game when they have actual voice acting in it. I know these days it's like, no oh, big deal on that, but for an indie game to have voice acting, I think that's a nice little touch. They could have just had, you know, text. To read, but you know, it's a nice little touch with voice acting, and then of course, you have these things. It's like little zoom, zoom rings, I guess that's what I will call them. And uh, just got a little bit more stage to go. There we go. There we go. All right. And if you hold down the missile button, you're able to lock on to more than one. I think you could do three when you start out, and then you could upgrade to being able to shoot more than one missile. But we'll see. And I believe that's it. There we go. So I didn't get to do all the objectives. You can see each stage has three objectives. There's complete it, destroy 60%, and destroy the escaping fighter. I didn't get all that. And then you can get a new card, and you can add the card to something. I'm just going to keep the one that I had. And there's our points that we gained. 
So when we go to the next mission, I can actually come over here and I can upgrade. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our missile. That's all we had money to do. So we'll do the missile just because that's the main weapon. You can also change your colors. I'm going to do that just because that looks cool. And you get skins and stuff. So not that bad. We'll do a couple more missions. It is what it is with this game. Honestly, attracted my attention the most just because it was a on-rail shooter. So, about time. We're picking up dozens of hostiles on the radar. There we go. Let's not keep them waiting. Let's go ahead and grab. I don't know what those big things are, but <laughs> we'll grab them anyway. The missile button is on the All right. And I think yeah, there we go. Alright. Coming through. Got him. Not bad. Remember, the longer you walk, the more missiles you fire. Boom, baby. Oh. So not that bad. The music's okay too. I, I like the game, honestly. Uh, it'd be interesting to play through completely. Didn't have time to do a full review of it, but I definitely will be possibly checking this out on a stream soon in the near future. I guess think of it as a more basic modern Star Fox. <laughs> I know uh, a lot of people be like, why are you comparing it to Star Fox? It just kind of slowly reminds me of it. Just, just a teeny tad bit. There's some similarities. Definitely not all the way, but, you know, pretty impressive for a smaller indie title, right? They changed things up a little bit. They could have did it with a pixel art style, pixel graphics, but uh, they kept it simple. Went out of the way and did cool looking, futuristic looking spaceships and stuff. So I can get behind that. All right, here we go. Multiple fighters. All right. Okay. Got him. Need him, got him, got him, need him. Look at all this. Got all sorts of stuff happening. All sorts of stuff going all over the place, right? <laughs> all right. Biggity bang, baby. No more shit stains in my drawers. Do a barrel roll. Do a Alarian roll. <laughs> there we go. So that's two missions. You guys get the gist. Honestly, I don't think it's a half bad game. I think it's for a smaller indie title. Worth a look. If you like shooters, on rail shooters, you might like it. Check it out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you're brand new.